Christmas cake is an essential part of the festive season, and whether you don't like traditional fruitcake or you fancy something a little bit different, my chocolate and amaretto fruitcake is a great alternative. So to kick off, I'm going to melt my butter in a large saucepan, and then I'm going to add the sugar, some golden syrup, some mixed peel, and the next thing to go in is a great selection of dried fruits. I'm not really a fan of some of the traditional dried fruits you get in a Christmas cake, so I've swapped out the currants and sultanas for raisins, sour cherries, dates and prunes, which give it a really nice stickiness. And then I've got some amaretto, which gives it a lovely almondy flavour. I'm going to put this onto a high heat and leave it to melt until all the sugar is starting to caramelise and the butter has come up around the fruit. So it's simmered down nicely and you can see it's a nice thick and glossy paste. So I'm going to transfer it into a glass bowl. So my mixture is now cool, so it's time to add the eggs. It's really important that you leave this till it's completely cool or the eggs are going to scramble. So the eggs are all mixed in, so I'm going to start combining the dry ingredients. I've got flour in a small bowl, and I'm going to add ground almonds, a teaspoon of mixed spice, which gives it a really nice Christmassy feel. And then I've got my cocoa powder, which makes the cake really rich. So I'm going to add the flour into the dried fruit mixture, and then fold it together until you get a really nice thick batter. Now this is a tin that I prepared earlier. It's got two layers of baking parchment around the edge and on the bottom, and then the outside is covered in brown paper. It stops the cake from browning too quickly on the outside, which is important when you're cooking a cake for a long time. And then use the spatula to just spread it out so you get it a nice even top. And then this is ready to go into the oven at 150 degrees for about an hour and three quarters to two hours. So the cake is completely cool. The next thing I'm going to do is feed it with a little bit of alcohol. So I'm just using a skewer to pierce little holes all over the cake. And then I'm going to feed it with a tablespoon or two of amaretto. So now I'm going to move on to the marzipan. Lots of people think marzipan is really difficult to make, but it's actually so simple and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm just taking ground almonds and they go into a food processor. And then I've got some golden caster sugar, icing sugar, now I'm adding cocoa powder. If you want to make a plain marzipan, you can leave this out, but I think it adds a really nice richness that works well with the cake. And add one egg, and then one egg yolk, and pulse the mixture together until it forms a nice ball. So you can see this has come together into a lovely ball. I'm gonna wrap this in cling film and put it into the fridge until I'm ready to use it. For a really Christmassy finish, I'm going to decorate my Christmas cake to look like a Christmas pudding. So I'm going to brush the whole of my cake with a mixture of cherry jam and amaretto, which I've gently heated together. And it will help the marzipan to stick on really well. I've rolled out my marzipan between two layers of cling film. This helps keep it really smooth, and makes it easy to move around and stops it from drying out. So I'm going to peel the top layer off, turn the sheet of marzipan over the top of the cake, and then gently press the marzipan into the sides of the cake. Remove the cling film layer. Just use a sharp knife to get rid of any excess marzipan. Now ready to cover the cake, I've rolled my fondant icing out on a surface lightly dusted with icing sugar. And now I'm gonna use a sharp knife to cut a wiggly line through the fondant, which should replicate the sauce dripping down a Christmas pudding. and then I'll peel away the bottom piece of icing and we're not going to use this bit. I'm going to use a little bit of water to brush the top half. The water helps the fondant fuse to the marzipan. So I'm going to lift up my fondant sheet and drape it over the cake. I'm just going to run a knife around the outside of the cake to trim off any large pieces of fondant that you don't want. Smooth the edges with an icing smoother to get a really professional finish and I've made some tiny holly leaves from some green fondant and some little berries from a red fondant. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of water to the back and stick them right into the centre of the Christmas pudding. So just arrange the last berry on the top of the cake and then you're good to go. So there you have it. 
full of festive flavours, my chocolate and amaretto Christmas cake is perfect if you want to serve a cake with a twist this Christmas. Click subscribe for loads more great recipes.